Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Full disclosure. I'll put this at the start of the video. I am not an ultra lighter. I am not a snob. I am not pretentious. This is no offense to you uh, YouTubers or backpackers or trekkers that are into ultra light. You know, kia ora. I salute you and all, but... I'm not rich like you guys, you know, I don't have exactly tons of money, you know, so, um, yeah, yeah, but, uh, kia ora to you folks anyway, and, um, yeah, this is just some examples of my stuff, so, uh, kia ora folks, RDB, your local bushman here, what I want to talk to you guys about today is, um, very, very interesting, and it's about that, so, stay tuned. <laughs> Do you want to work to be your local bushman? Kia ora folks, ADB, your local bushman here. Uh, apologies for the bad lighting. I'm in my room at the moment. But um, yeah, so let's talk about Te Araroa, round two. Yeah, it's happening, round two. Uh, my plans are pretty much when I finish or graduate this year from my deployment screen productions. I'm going the day after I graduate straight down to the trail and I'm doing the trail again. Yes, that's right, folks. Second round, round two. I will be doing Nobo northbound from Wellington to maybe Auckland, maybe Cape Ranga. Haven't decided, but um, I've got a low budget. Now, this time, I'm doing it way different. As you guys know, I just recently started my tarp company so I can design my own tarps. I've, I've got the fabric and materials to do it. And it's really, really inexpensive for me personally. I can write that off as a business tax, so it's not a problem for me. No problems there. This time around, I'm not tramping. I'm not hiking. I'm actually going to run it. That's right, folks. I'm going to trail run Te Araroa, North Island, Northbound, Nobo this year. Now, what I have here is some uh, selection of gear that i like to show you what I'm changing differently. I'm still taking the camera, okay? Staying, still taking predominantly most of the same stuff, but I've dropped my pack weight. Um, not being a gram counter, not being a gram fascist, not going into that UL and all that other stuff. I really don't like to talk about that UL, that hipster. It really is. It's hipster. It's pretentious. It's, and it costs too much money. So, um, being as I started up my own tarp company, I can get great deals on fabrics and that, and I mean really great deals, custom or specialized fabrics, dirt cheap for myself. Um, I'm still in the prototyping stage, as I said. It's going to take a while for me to decide whether I want to bring certain designs into the market. I've got three designs at the moment. Uh, they're still going through the trial fra uh, phase as we speak. Um, so I'll let you guys know I'll update you when I can. Apologies, I haven't uploaded anything. I've just been swamped with um, pretty much training, trail running, and school, really. So, yeah, it's just been super duper busy. So, apologies for that. But what I'd like to do today is, uh, yeah, briefly go through some of my gear. So, let's have a look. It's actually just one piece of fabric. It's a ground sheet, okay? Uh, there's two different types. One's 20D, this one here. This one's a 30D. Now, the manufacturer has taken their base samples and applied a few more coatings of silicon to them but they're still uh, pretty much the same stuff but they're slightly different they actually help specialize these fabrics for me I asked for um, one for an extra PU and one for extra two layers one on the top and one on the bottom of silicon coatings uh, they happily provide it for me um, my new suppliers from uh, China I got a virtual tour of their factory and it was um, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what uh, quality they are, their work ethics, their craftsmanship is actually really excellent and they're giving me great prices on fabrics. So uh, here's um, some example pieces of uh, fabrics you'll see in my tarps. Now all the colours will be predominantly green because well bushcrafter, green, blend in, natural, okay? So uh, yeah, here. So this is a 20D uh, fabric. This is the same size as my body times two. So you can fold it over. And as I said, both of them got Velcro attachment points to turn it into a half bivy, okay? This is 20D. This is the same length as me, which I'm about 5'10", just under 5'11", okay? Uh, plus an extra two or three centimeters on the head and the feet area, okay? So that's the full length. And that's two 
two times so it's double the width so I can fold it over if I want to and turn it into a bivy bag it's the same with uh, both of these example fabrics okay anyway that's off topic this is for those folks who like to know I will tell you guys all the weights of everything 128 grams now first things first I'll get into the light first things first as I said I'm not an ultra lighter I'm not mega rich I just had money that I started for my company so I get great deals on fabrics and I can pretty much make anything now I want from sleeping bags everything I gotta make everything now I've got the sewing machines to do it I don't quite have the techniques to make some technical pieces of fabric or slash clothing or slash equipment or gear or items but I have all the fabrics to do it now so and um, commercial sewing machines at my disposal so I can do all the stuff and it doesn't really cost me much. I can write it off as a tax, uh, tax write off. So that's pretty good. Let's go. That's out of the way now. Okay. So back to it. Now this is a 30D example. 30D in there. Now both these are nylon. Okay. I do have a polyester based fabric coming along. It is um, sounds a bit weird, but it is 90% polyester, 10%. Uh, nylon sounds weird it's a 30d coming along it's an example production sample it is not quite ready yet it's just as I'm only getting half a meter at the moment um, but the manufacturers having some technical difficulties are making that uh, they said to me it is possible it's gonna be hard but it's possible but they're gonna try their best if they're not we're gonna have to stick with the nylons and just polyesters so this is a 30D nylon, okay, still nylon, and PU. This has got two PU coatings, okay, so underneath, for those folks who don't know, your fabrics, okay, they will generally have a PU on the underside, the top side, the shiny side, right, this side, usually has the silicon, okay. This one has one single layer of silicon on top, the fabric, and then underneath, we can see the light shinting, okay, the, the shimmering. That side has got two PU coatings thin PU coatings but it's got two of them this is the exact same length just under 511 510 right um, so same length same width um, same specifications I told you it's a half bivy bag this is 148 grams so this is uh, exactly 20 grams heavier so it's not bad as I said these are not um, regular production samples of fabric these are specialized, um, customized fabrics for my needs. So the um, manufacturer happily provided that for me and we'll be in touch to do some more as soon as I pump out more products and uh, uh, yeah, start selling them. Anyway, so more or less, this is my setup. So that includes the sleeping bag and everything else. It's really bugger all, minus the camera equipment. I am taking camera equipment. Please bear that in mind. Not much, but it's pretty much more or less the same setup. Now, because I'm running this, okay, because I'm running, I have to not go ultra light, just compact. As compact as possible because I'll go to smaller bag, smaller backpack. I'll talk about that soon. Let's go through some of the stuff I carried last year. Last year, I'm just going to start this off. Okay, so last year, I carried... Um, this is the equipment I'm using from last year for this year's um, trail run slash fast packing slash just go crazy and yeah yeah see how fast I can go uh, really so this is a um, here we go DD super light tarp it's the same one 2.9 by 3 I haven't done my tarp yet um, so for now I'll be using this when I finish my tarp uh, example and put into production or through the prototyping phase and I think it's ready it will come out so this one is 450 grams without anything no pegs but it's a 2.9 by 3 meter it's a square tarp uh, technically rectangle but it, it basically is a square tarp um, so there's that so that's the lightweight as this is a um, 15d not this fabrics bloody fantastic I love this fabric this fabric okay so this goes, it's a proper bivy bag or emergency sleeping bag cover. This goes under the brand Subito or Lexada on both AliExpress and Taobao. 
Uh, if you guys don't know what Taobao is, Taobao is a like a Chinese eBay. You can use Google Translate to do certain stuff. I've had to, I don't know Chinese, but I've had to learn certain Chinese words to communicate better with uh, Chinese suppliers and that. And I've had no problems ordering stuff from Taobao at all. It's actually real cheap because I'm from New Zealand. Uh, our trade deals with China are really good and uh, we don't get taxed on Chinese products. So it's actually really good. Um, really, really good. Anyway, this is a 15 day nylon, okay? It's a envelope style. It's a, it's highly breathable. It's Jew proof, like D-E-U, oh, D-E-W, sorry. So Jew proof, um, so it will resist some moisture, okay, and some condensation, but uh, it's not waterproof at all. If you're under a tarp, you shouldn't really need that, and you've got a good ground sheet. You, I never had problems last year with this. So I'll be using this this year. Um, this cost me, on AliExpress, 20 bucks. These are now 30 bucks these days. I don't know why. AliExpress is overcharging people nowadays, but that's 20 bucks, and it's real cheap. But the material is beautiful fabric. I like it. If it was more water resistant, it would be better. Um, but this is light. Okay, so this is 120 grams. 120 grams. Um, so that's real ultra. Um, oh, it's just light as. Just real light as, eh? Okay, so anyway. This is, for those folks you didn't know, I started off with the Nature Hike sleeping pad. It was a mummy style. That was 380 grams. Paired Sin Mat UL Light M. So it's the rectangular one, okay? 380 grams is rated to, uh, I think it's 2.5 or 3.8 R value. Uh, so 380 grams is actually not bad. I picked that up for $108, $119, something like that in Auckland. That's why I changed it at the uh, 700k mark. Changed my pad over. Um, I saw it at Bivouac Outdoors NZ, and I was like, nah, I'm buying that because it's just generally better. Comfort level on this thing is insane. It's ridiculously comfortable. Um, it's not really that squeaky compared to the um, Thermo Rest Pro lights that everyone was using. And, um, oh, what's the other one? Oh, there's another one I forgot. It's a Thermo Rest 2, but. This one's, it's super quiet, it's comfy as, um, vertical baffle, so the baffles go this way. Really good. So I picked it up real cheap. These generally sell for about 200. Um, just loose odds and ends, okay? Uh, we've got a, same water filter, it is a Sawyer Squeeze, the original. Um, had great, it was great last season, a lot of people would actually borrow this. Or my um, plunger. I might take the plunger this season. Don't know. But yeah, never had problems. Everyone else who was using minis had problems. The Sawyer Mini. I never had a problem with this thing. Never. Um, I would slow down if I didn't clean it for like oh, weeks on end. But really didn't have a problem. This is my $2 shop or variety shop as some of my American subscribers would call it. Um, bladder. 2 litre. And this cost me two bucks. It's light as. It weighs 25 grams. It's plastic. It, it's threaded to fit. It's 28 mil threaded to fit a Sawyer a squeeze on it. So that's perfect. Okay, some other bits and bobs we have got in here. It's just um, some duct tape, um, some medical tape, some uh, spare rope or string. This is a UHWPE cord that I use. It's like Spectrum Dynamic cord, similar. Um, and these are my guidelines as well. So I've got some in there and my hair net, uh, head net. This is a Cedar Summit uh, Nano net. So it's got the permethrin in it. This all together here weighs 50 grams. It's really light. Um, didn't really pay much for any of that. The Cedar Summit head net, I got on sale for a thing when it was like five bucks. Um, where was it? Yeah, for sale on five bucks off eBay. Had to pay for the shipping, though, that was alright. Alright, so we're back again. PLB. This is just a dirt cheap PLB, KTI. Forgot the model number, but PLB, I reckon they're super essential to have. You gotta have it. This has also got the um, whistle, oh, not the whistle, sorry, the um, signaling mirror. And you gotta know how to use the signaling mirror. Um, properly, which I do, fortunately. 
This cost this was the most expensive piece of kit I've ever purchased. This was 300 bucks. The clothing, what I'll be wearing, okay? So, what I'll be wearing is the socks. Now, I had great, great, great performance from these. These are the Micro New Wool and Gingy Toe Socks, extra large, of course, for, as you folks know, I have incredibly big feet. Probably because I'm a man. Anyway, in Gingy Micro New Wool Socks, these are the Merino ones, XL. These cost me $8. I've mentioned before, Bought eight pairs. I used about four, maybe three pairs on the trail for the whole lot. Three pairs. Um, I only wore through about I think it was one pair completely through, two slightly. So I've got two pairs of these. I'll be wearing one. This is stuff I'm wearing. Okay. So um, the same shorts I picked up. These, these are women's hot pants, okay? I'm oh, definitely wearing those again because I love it. And um, just helps Rasta Bushman feel sexy, you know? Makes him feel sexy amongst those hiker ladies. Uh, so, yeah. I picked those up for a dollar. Real cheap. Now, apologies for the echo. But, um, yeah, this is a Nature Hike buff. This is costing me, like, three bucks. It's just cool mix uh, fabric. It's... Real handy, buffs are real handy. I had a really good time with buffs last year uh, for my through hikes. So this trail running, uh, fast packing, um, round number two of the Teodoro Trail thing, uh, definitely carrying there. Uh, I'm using the exact same shirt. Now I didn't start off with this shirt. I originally had this shirt as a sleeping shirt. This is now my running shirt now for the trail specifically, so I try not to wear it. Um, I wore this for about probably a total of maybe oh about 1700 k's as a walking shirt for when I was actually hiking. Um, no wear issues at all. The cool thing is this is not brand new. This is an old, uh, really old Kathmandu Merino shirt. This shirt alone is probably before I purchased it, it was five years previous to that. And I bought this last year, so this is probably from about 2000 and, oh, 2013, 2012 season, their range then. Uh, I bought this in a second hand store, a thrift shop, an opportunity shop, or op shop as we call them. I bought this for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. So uh, real cheap, marina shirt, you can't go wrong. Okay, so that's my clothes I will be wearing. I don't have my new rain jacket at the moment that is coming through the post, so you're going to have to please wait and bear in mind for that. Now, new for this season, because I am running, I will be getting chilly a lot. So I will be using a wind shirt, windbreaker type thing. Now, this is a water repellent, light rain resistant. It's not waterproof. Uh, it does block the wind. It's really good. Super light. It's only 100 grams. Uh, so this is a, I forgot the exact model name, um, bear this in mind, but I've seen this on the Montura, Montura's website, I believe it's a Italian or Czechoslovakian or, it's a European uh, outdoors mountaineering brand, okay, I haven't really seen it much in New Zealand though, I bought this off Carl Bell, actually mentioned from my supplier, he buys stuff from this supplier who's also based in China, but he told me about the supply where I got this from. This was 69 yuan, which is under $17 in his own, so that's about $14.73. Real cheap. These, brand new, these on Montero's website retail in most stores you can find them at, is 68 euro. 68 euro. That's like maybe 75. The dry clothing slash spare clothing slash sleep clothing okay well you have my this is um it appears orange on your screen it's just due to the lighting so apologies for that it's actually a crimson red and it looks black but it's actually navy blue dark navy blue so bear that in mind okay this is the magpack uber light hooded jacket it's an xl most people measure an l and m you guys are tiny you're not like maldives we have naturally wide shoulders because we're uh, or well, originally warriors, so we're naturally big chested. So this is the XL, this weighs about 380 grams. 
I bought this when it was on special for a hundred bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, gra I had it was so great last season. Not funny. Really great experience with this jacket. I use it uh, pretty much for everything to sleep with, to go into town with, uh, to chill out with. Yeah, no, it's really great. Um, so yeah, really, really great. Uh, so I'll be using this for this uh, trail run slash fast backing slash round two to the all TA thing uh, again. So uh, it just needs a wash. That's all. It smells like cigarettes and campfires and food. Weird collection and a bit of sweat. <laughs> but yeah. So um, that's the jacket. Now somewhere in here there is a spare pair of shorts. It's just um tights. No specific brand. It's just a cheap pair of tights I got from Kmart. They weigh oh they weigh like fifty six grams or something. They were like three bucks. So they're somewhere around there somewhere. I can't find them now. I use for boxes. I can't remember the brand, but I use oh that's the brand New Zealand Nature. These are New Zealand Nature. Um, it's a New Zealand online clothing store. They manufacture and sell bamboo products and merino wool products and alpaca products. Uh, I got two pairs for thirty bucks. This is uh, bamboo. Bamboo boxes, really great, eh? Um, slightly better than merino, personally, for a comfort level. Not the performance for a comfort level. They're better. They're not more breathable. They're slightly less breathable. But they're not as clammy as um, regular merino boxes. Uh, they can be quite clammy. These are uh, not more breathable. They're just not as clammy. Okay, so the moisture doesn't really build up in any of the hot areas like um, the crotch area and the lower thigh area. So really handy. Two for twenty-five. These weigh about fifty something grams. It's so ridiculous. Not funny. Um, but yeah, they're not hiking specific or trail running specific. They're just last season. They're still in good neck. And um, I've got another two pairs on the way. Those are not the ones I'm going to be using. I've got another two pairs on the way. So uh, is that? I've mentioned the socks before. I've got another spare pair of Injinji Micro New Wools. Those are the Marina ones. Plus, I have an extra pair of the Cool Max version. These are the Run 2.0. Um, hold on, here we go. Where is it? Here, here we go. Here we go. This packaging. Performance 2.0 runs. Those are the blue ones. And the other ones are around there somewhere. So that's for the socks. Done over here. Um, this is a spare pair of icebreakers. There we go. Ice, you can kind of see it there. So, those are icebreakers, okay? Icebreakers, um, hike plus. Now, merino wool socks, these are the regular fit, not the crew fit, just the regular fit. Now, these are on a $45. I know, I know, forty-five dollars, ridiculous. That's NZ dollars, folks. So in US, slightly cheaper, but still bloody dear. However, I got a deal because I was mentioning to the guy thirty-six. No, no, it wasn't thirty-six. Maybe about thirty-four dollars, thirty-three dollars for a pair. Now, the reason why I like icebreakers, they're super comfortable, and like any other socks, they're gonna wear out. However, trick of the trade is. Yeah, here we go. Love your icebreaker socks. Overall place or refund them. Guarantee for life. So what that basically means is, folks. Boom, there we go. Guarantee for life. Icebreaker socks. Or replace or refund them. So what that means is. You can puckadoo them. So what does puckadoo mean? You can get holes in them. As long as they're clean. When you're doing a through hike or traveling, whatever, you can just replace them with any retailer that sells icebreaker socks and you get a new pair. So you can constantly reload, reload, reload your socks constantly. So for me, the value and the lifetime that that money is going to pay off dividends for me, that's excellent. So uh, yeah, I'll be only carrying one pair. So that's awesome. Awesome there. Now, um, I might have to replace these tights because uh, I've lost a lot of weight. As you guys know, I lost 12 to 15 kilo from my TA hike. I've only put on about two. These are too big now. But these are a pair of Merino Extra Fine Everest. Now, Everest is a boutique, more like fashion clothing here in New Zealand. Um, it's not a big one, it's a small one. 
I bought these off, uh, what was it, Trade Me, which is New Zealand's version of eBay, basically. I picked these up for, I think it was $18, brand new. These are 2XL, X, yeah, 2XL. I'm down to a large, so they're way too big, but they're comfy for me. Um, you do get some sort of mosquito protection with those. There's no permethrin. It's just generally when you cover your legs, you won't get bitten by sandflies and mozzies and like, in general. Um, you won't have much problems with it. So yeah, the Merino, these weigh about 145 grams, roughly, roughly. So that's pretty good. Uh, this is just a generic Merino beanie. I use this for sleeping or chilling out in town sometimes. Um, that weighs about 48, 49 grams. It's not pure Merino, it's about 90% with a 10% nylon. Um, so it's um, pretty good. I bought this real cheap and I think it was like between five to ten dollars I can't tell you the specific. It's a Mac pack one, but I didn't buy it at Mac pack. I bought this brand new online So that's pretty good. So that's all the clothing done So that includes the spares the socks Exact same setup as I said most of this gear is exactly the same from last year except for the top and the busy bag and maybe the sleeping pad might get, that maybe get changed. Uh, same setup, it's like same setup. This pot last year, fantastic. This has had so many trail miles on it. It's not funny. Where is the branding? Probably not on here anymore because it's burnt off. But this is a uh, Korean company called Titana. It's like the Avenue and that. Please, folks, if you're gonna buy something, don't buy the big expensive brands. For US customers, my US subscribers, it might be cheaper to get a US based one. I've never had any problems performance wise with this compared to totes compared to Avenue on the trail. This performed the same way. Performed the same time, got the same function, but it was just 60% less um, than uh, everybody else's pots. Titanium, it's the same setup. This is an 800ml pot. This costed me with my other mug, which I'm not taking this season, this cost me together 50 NZ. And it's bloody cheap. Now, an Avenue pot the same size and is on, if I were to buy it, would be like 80, 90 bucks. Knock off. It's just a Korean's version, a Korean manufacturer's take on a uh, cookware. Titanium pot comes with a lid. Okay, the weight is about 119 grams. So it's actually not bad. Now, spoon. This is, this is a knockoff, but it is actually proper titanium. Titanium Spork, it's quote Chinese third company manufacturer of this, okay, this is actually titanium, weighs about 22 grams, it is titanium, it's not the best grade titanium, nevertheless, it's titanium. Garage sale was a whole sheet for real cheap, um, I just sized it up, cut it to where I needed to, filed the top down so it's smooth and crimp the edges, and crimp the edges down bottom and just put some duct tape on it. This thing weighs about 48 grams. So it's pretty light. Now, this is the brackets for my quote Avenue similar third party or third company Chinese manufacturer. Uh, genuine titanium. Okay, so it's a not all pure titanium, it's a titanium alloy mix. Uh, still lightweight. Now, there was maybe two people who didn't, not this exact one. This is a, where is it? It's going to focus. Can't really see it, can't really see it. It's a Tom Shuko one, okay? So it's a not a knockoff. It's not a knockoff, folks, okay? A knockoff is poor performing replica. This is a higher performing similar, just a lot cheaper, which is gooder. In general. Uh Tom Shuko alcohol burner. We don't call them alcohol burners here in New Zealand. Like um, UK, we call them meth burners. This weighs ridiculously light, 38 grams. With the brackets, the brackets, each each little prong, each little bracket, two of these together, okay? This weighs, I weighed everything with my scales on three different scales, so to get a proper ingestion of what everything weighs. These weigh 12 grams. That's light. That's light. Plus, plus this is, um, the manufacturer did say this was 48 grams. This is actually 38 grams. So the Tom Shuko one, I've seen a few others on the trails. 
I had maybe a minute or two slower cook time than the gas burners. I couldn't have simmer, but most of my meals were on. It's just on, chuck in, on, on, on. Everything was on, 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 straight away. So that was pretty good. So this costed me $28, so the bracket and the actual burner. 50 grams for 28 New Zealand dollars. You cannot go wrong, and it's titanium. I mean, come on people, it's ridiculous. So, fun fact, this sleeping bag, I use this nightly. I use this, I sleep with this. This helps me to deal with my post-trial depression. Because it reminds me and it smells like the times I had. Of course, I want to wash it before I start. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of the good times I had on the trail. So, it's just a uh, the model. It's a Katmandu. It's a Pegasus. Was a hybrid sleeping bag. So, so it's only 650 fill on, unfortunately. But it's still pretty good. Um, so, down. Well, okay, so the original setup is down on top. Synthetic on the bottom. No synthetic on the bottom. I ripped all of that out. Uh, not to strip weight. It was just to make it more compact. So now this bag originally was one kilo and five grams. This is now exactly 798 grams. Alrighty then, welcome back. Now, so, packs. This is a OM Classic 32. Original Mountain Marathon Classic 32, which was ridiculous. But anyway, back on topic. Now, so, because... Last season I was going way slower. I wasn't actually trail running or even jogging or even or fast packing. I was just taking my time. Um, just generally having shenanigans everywhere. Because why not, eh? But this year, well this season, because I might do it again next season. Um, the season after actually. Slightly off topic, but on topic. Through hiking is flipping and amazing. It's an addiction. It's a drug, that's why I'm doing it again. So, back on topic. Now, last year I used an arm 50 liter large, okay, with a medium hip belt and sport expedition sports balance bags. Say this technically will fit 36 liters, 37 liters, super duper ultra pack, but it is marketed as a classic 32. Now, That's how big it is. It's not big, eh? It's 50 centimeters high. 50 centimeters. It's a big rule. Leave my chassis. Really? It's just super comfortable. Um, I can pack about... I've done a couple of trial trail runs. About 7Ks going uphill and downhill. Um, I'll talk about the... They call it the chest pod. This front pack here. Why is it, it crinkling? Here we go. Here we are, arm chest pod. These are similar to a uh, chest pack and similar to the balance bags. However, I found these ones actually um, biomechanically they help balance the weight across the entire torso region. Easy to breathe and doesn't really bounce that much if you hook them properly up. So yeah, as I said, this is a 32 liter pack. With the front pack, which will probably have camera and water bladders and stuff. Uh, the, the chest pod is 4 liters. It can take bladders. I'm using small bladders, not large camelback bladders. Not so you've got the Om chest pod and the Om Classic 32. This came from wiggle.co.uk. Uh, as I said, 156 and one of my tribes paid for it. So this is not a gear review. I'm just going to quickly go over it. So... What you've got is a top mesh pocket, my windbreaking go there, or my rain poncho, okay? Um, I'm just going to... You've got a pouch here, which is actually pretty reasonably... Pretty reasonable, okay? It's a pretty reasonable uh, pouch there. Flip it over, okay, so... They got this thing, what they call a... UGR, Ultimate Gear Rail System or something, designed for their light arm. They've got multiple different attachment packs and systems you can use to carry more, carry less, or like ice axes and zero, exactly like arm. They are more or less exactly like arm, except they are lighter and more designed for running. 
arm will biomechanically their packs are biomechanically more efficient than this pack way more this doesn't bounce it's similar though doesn't bounce no chafing it doesn't really get that much sweaty um, and it rides pretty high but stable um, so it's really great 32 liters so in total I have a 36 liter pack from a 64 liter down to a 36 liter pack as I said I've done a couple trial trail runs I put pretty much all this gear in here it fits there's maybe about half half the amount of space left so I can still fit this old camera here and all the other stuff in it the camera um, I'm going to have to try this and I might chuck in the front and see if I can run with that. This pack's ridiculously light. Without the chest pod, the factory configuration, and I've weighed this too to double confirm, is exactly 699.9 grams. So technically 700 grams. It's ridiculously light. Ridiculously. No, uh, you can actually strip it to get into like real ultra, or if you have a different sleep pad system. Uh, lean weight uh, system, what they call the lean weight, which is about 550 grams. So yeah, as I said, not a gram weenie or anything like that, but and I didn't really pay much in New Zealand for this pack system as well, so that's pretty good. Um, so there's that. Now, I flip it over. It's a draw cord closure system, so it's a classic draw cord closure system, and that's the pack inside. It's made from a um, it's a twin layer fabric similar to your shell jacket so it's a 2.5 layer I believe uh, fabric it's waterproof fabric but it's not a waterproof pack because there's no seam sealing on the seams obviously as you can tell it's just some black scrim edging there it's not actually waterproof now the secret to this pack is bloody unbelievable I will use this too because my sleep system is slightly different uh, this year now it comes with what they call an on duo mat see just goes in of course you got it but it also you can use it as a sit pad goes in here see apologies for the shadows and all that but everything's black inside so that's why it doesn't look like I'm doing much but I am actually doing something there you go it's all strapped up um, so this pack has got a roughly inside about 30 roughly I, th I think some people might say it's smaller but it is roughly a 30 litre inside so it technically with everything else it's 36 roughly but yeah it's just really good now it's got a hydration loop uh, bladder loop for your hydration bladder I don't use hydration bladders, never really believe in that thing, but if that's your cup of tea, then that's fine. So you got a loop there. Boom. Now, go back to the front. Now it's got the mesh, the big mesh stuff pouch on the front. So this part has got bungee um, waist strap. Oh, not bungees, it's like an um, elastic core. Elastic strap or webbing, so it compresses this lower half down okay you, I can fit a reasonable tarp and a reasonable bivy bag in here I can sides got two um, two bottom pockets or side side pouches here mesh material it's pretty reasonable one here one here obviously and your hip belts now a lot of people are used to hip belts I'm not coming from an um, backpack or classic heavy duty canvas system because they don't have hip belt pockets or hip belts really have like a hip pad but not hip belts it's a small hip belt and it's got pockets I'm not used to that but um, I'll be filling this with snacks uh, during the day and that that's the key I've been doing during my training is just snacking all the time every hour that's the key I believe so I'll be doing that, I'll be filling the, the, the day snacks on this side, and this side, maybe put lunch on that so I can just eat on the go, or stop for a quick smoker or whatever, have a quick cigarette, because um, I'm still smoking while I'm trail running, doesn't really, I, 
I'm slightly slower than like proper trail runners, but not that slower. It's never affected my fitness really that much smoking cigarettes. Um, as long as you keep fit, generally you're okay, generally, and you're in generally good health. So uh, yeah, that's my new arm setup. So everything will fit in here and all the pockets, but there's still half the amount of space. Now food-wise, food-wise it's more or less the same what I'll be using from last year. Slightly different options because, well, I can't really carry much. Now food-wise, I've packed up with a total, I can fit a max, super max, of five days plus three quarter of, not a quite a full day, but three quarter of a day of food in there. Cheap but inexpensive effective quality setup it's ways bugger all if you guys want to know the base weight now the camera is not in the base weight because people don't carry a cinematic camera because as you know i study filmmaking and i'm doing the documentary they don't carry i uh, carry cinematic cameras when they're you know through hiking or fast packing or trail running or ultra marathons or whatever i do because I study filmmaking and I like making films. Um, I love I love video videography so much. That's why I'm studying it. But without all that, the total base weight for those guys who would like to know is 5.7 grams. So 5.5.7 grams. That's a blooper. 5.78 kgs, including the front pouches. So. The front boot bags, which was 6 litres a pop, that's 12 plus it has fabric mesh, which hold 2 litres a pop, so that's technically, what's that, 6 plus 2, 8, 16, so 16 at the front and the 50 at the back, this is about 66, 64, 66 litres, and I stripped that right down to 36, that's a huge drop, now that pack alone, those two front packs, so the arm peak expiration with the two sport regulars, that weighs exactly 2.1 kilo. This system is 790 grams. So it's, it's about, well it's nearly, your weight hold on, it's one third of the weight, one third. No, I, didn't, I actually just paid less for this than my arm. Generally, when you go lighter, you pay more, as we know. The lighter you go, the more you pay. It's in general like that for outdoor gear. I actually paid less for less, which is weird. I don't get that, but um, since, as you guys know, I'm trail running. As I said, I'm not the fittest. I'm sort of reasonable, um, reasonable fitness. I am getting better on my cardio. My legs are getting super tank. Back into Pilates, back into yoga. Doing interval training sessions on the hills. I'll be using this pack, this pack for training all the way um, till I start. It's uh, yeah, it's this has been one of my greatest investments. But yeah, I'm getting back into trail running again. I just freaking love it because I miss the outdoors. Post trail depression helps me with that. Um, helps me to plan to like run or maybe through hike another trail or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, I paid less for less, which you usually pay more for less. Pay less for less. Um, I in general didn't really pay that much to upgrade my kit. In general, you'll pay a lot more to upgrade. I really didn't. I just utilized what I had, and because I uh, started up a tarp manufacturing company, I can design tarps and make tarps, and I can just write that off as tax. So it doesn't really matter, really. Um, yeah. And as I said, folks, um, I'm not mega rich. I'm actually uh, just a humble student. <laughs> I'm on a student allowance. Not the richest guy, but um, yeah, it's just when you're lighting your eye. Look, okay, so I don't, to be honest, there's going to be a disclaimer. Most people will light it up. They say to to go as light as they can to be personally comfortable. They say that. They say that. It's not. It's um. And this is sort of how I designed this video. It's not. It's more like clout. It's more like boastfulness. It's more like, look how much grams I can count and 
oh, look how long my nose is, Pinocchio, and being snobbish, and oh, we don't need that in the outdoor community, you know? Just utilize what you have and do the best you can. Just be outside the box. Think outside the box. Don't be in that box. Be outside the box, you know? Be in a triangle or upside down pyramid or whatever, you know, circle. Don't be in a square, you know? Folks, you don't generally have to spend a lot of money to go lighter. I didn't go lighter. People would classify me as UL, um, ultra light. I did not go ultra light. I'm just doing a different thing. Same thing, basically, through hiking. It's just I'm running. So it's generally you got to carry less stuff <laughs> and less balance and more movement and just different needs. But same thing, basically. You can still, quote, hiking just really fast. <laughs> so, um, yeah, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was great to show you guys my setup. As I said, I'm not going, oh, look, I'm, I'm ultra light or anything like that. But, um, yeah, it's just, um, I just utilized what I had. My contacts, my supplies. Um, I'm not mega rich. I'm a broke student on student allowance. But, yeah, this is my pack setup. Trail running. Seattle or North Island. Nobo. This year. Now... When will I be starting? Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an exact date. But for now, I'm going to say December the 17th. So I'm starting near Christmas. Considered ultra... Considered ultra light. But it's not ultra light. In my, uh, in my personal belief system, it's, it's not. Because I'm not part of the... Ooh, I'm popular. I'm the head of class. I'm popular. Which is a uh, song by Not A Surf, by the way. It's a not a surf popular but the lyrics do apply I'm, I'm not, I don't like popular things never had never been one of those trendster hipsters but that's probably going off topic I'm going to probably take this out this video but I'll say it anyway it's probably because I've been popular before when I was younger I was actually extremely popular in my school in my college days high school days you guys would, some guys would say really popular after that I just didn't like anyone that was popular so anything that's popular really nowadays I generally will not like it based on someone else likes it that's not me so yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoy uh kaki tiano bliss trails i'll hopefully do some more uh, trial updates let you guys know what's happening with the tarp companies the prototypes um some of the gear reviews are still coming out it's just as i said i've been swamped with school with trail running with training everything but uh kaki tiano bliss trails hope to see you folks really really soon hopefully See you later. Let's trails.